This is something we wish we'd known before studying at Centennial College. Hey everyone, welcome to 3 Minute Thursdays. It's a show where Bea and I answer the most frequently asked questions or just things that we think are interesting for you to know. And we'll say that all under <laughs> 3 minutes. So, here's what we wish we'd known before studying at Centennial College. Alright, so for context, our initial plan was to go to Canada, study at Centennial College, and work full-time during the summer break. Because if you're an international student, you're allowed to work full-time as long as the break is... Uh, a school official break. A school official break. Mm -hmm. But that didn't happen, didn't it? Yes, no. It didn't happen. It didn't happen. Bea's gonna tell you why it didn't happen. Yeah, because we started our um, school during winter semester. So if you start January, which is the winter semester, um, your course will run continuously for four consecutive semesters. So you will not have summer break. Exactly. So again, this is for Centennial College, mm. right? This is uh, this is not for all the colleges because other colleges seem to have summer breaks even if you go in during the winter time. Mm. But that's what Centennial does. The reason? I don't know. But no one knew about it. Our agency didn't know about it. Uh, the school didn't email us about it. We didn't know about it. And now we're telling you guys. Yes. So if you want to have a summer break, the best time for you to start your first semester is on September, which is the fall semester. Yeah, you will have two terms, two consecutive terms, a summer break, and then two more terms yeah. if you're studying two-year course. Yeah. So the pros about what we did is we didn't have a summer break, but we get to graduate faster, right? Since we don't have a summer break, we're basically studying winter, summer, fall, and then winter again. There you go. And then yes. we're basically graduating in one year and how four many? months. One year and four months. Yeah, so we saved four months yeah. by just starting our school on January. Yeah, but the con is, again, if your plan is to, you know, like save up. Save up, During get more the summer break for your tuition fee. Get more experience. Yeah, if that's your plan, you yeah. have to start on the fall semester. So again, another disclaimer is that's what happened to us. Um, again, make sure if that's still the policy with Centennial College this year. Just email or contact the International Admission Office if you have any questions about when your course will start or if your course has breaks, official school breaks. Yeah. And yeah, just keep in touch with the international admissions um, so you won't have any problems in the future. Yeah, they're, they're super friendly. They re mm. respond to your emails. So yeah, yep. that's it. That's it for today's 3-Minute Thursdays. I hope you got some value out of that. If you did, make sure to smash the like button, consider subscribing, and hit the notification bell so that you'll be updated whenever we have new videos like this. And if you have any questions that you want us to answer on 3-Minute Thursdays, make sure to comment below and we'll, we'll line it up for you. That's it. See you next time. Bye. Peace.